points on your NBA Mount Rushmore. The first three choices are easy for me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I've got Michael Jordan. I think he's the greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. I've got LeBron James. I think he's number two all time. Okay. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, one in high school, one in college, went to the pros, mm -hmm. ended up being a six-time champion, a six-time league MVP, a 19-time All-Star, and the all-time leading scorer in NBA history with over 38,000 points. When I look at that, and not only that, he's the only individual in the history of the sport who's ever had one unstoppable move. Like, we saw Jordan with the fadeaway and all of this other stuff. We see Kobe in the J, we see Kobe, we see Steph Curry in his jump. But I'm talking about one move. I'm talking about fake, <laughs> right? Over the left shoulder, over here Over the left shoulder. Everyone knows, every single game, and more than 95% of the time, that's how Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is going to shoot. That's the same exact shot that he took for 20 years. He's retired and no one can still stop it. <laughs> He's retired and no one has still figured out how to stop the skyhook. Yeah. It's, 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 it's just nothing to say. And so when you look at it from that perspective, combined with the fact that like Russell and Jim Brown and other cats, he was there with Ali. He was in the heart of the civil rights struggle. Mm. He was taking positions and all of that other stuff. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, you're, you're bringing the, it all. Everything no, 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 no. I'm just saying the, the adversity. He, yeah. but, I'm, but I noticed the first thing I did was his basketball. Yeah, yeah I, I get it. Yep. But he did all of that in the midst of all of that. That's third. Those are three automatics for me. I thought about Russell. I thought about the era that he played in and how it was really just Will Chamberlain and he had a slew of dudes, even though he's an all-time champion with 11 rings. Thought about Kobe. For me, it was Magic Johnson. Okay. And here's why. <clears throat> Magic Johnson is the greatest point guard in the history of basketball. I changed my mind on this because once upon a time I had Russell on my list. Changed my mind on this. Magic Johnson is the greatest point guard in NBA history. Magic Johnson made the NBA transcend it. It extended it to another level. It made it, it brought it on national television. It, allowed, they, it was because of Magic in combination with Bird and more so Magic because Larry Bird was the, hitch from, the hick from French Lick and he was a mm -hmm. white dude that could really, really ball and had mad respect from all the brothers, the players, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But because of what was going on in the NBA at that particular moment in time, brothers weren't allowed in your room now, in your home. They weren't welcomed. You see what I'm saying? Magic changed all of that. That magnetic smile, that personality, and then Showtime basketball. You know what? It was him that made, that, that, that helped Kareem. Worthy. Byron Scott, Norm Nixon before that, Michael Cooper coming off the bench. Magic was just a show. I mean, he made the NBA marketable. And if it were not for Magic, what would MJ had had had, had what we what, what would he have had to inherit? What would Kobe and Shaq and Vince Carter and others had to inherit? Magic did that. Mm. And so when I think about what Magic did on the court, when I think about what a champion and a leader he was, and then when I think about the magnetic attraction he made the NBA into being. That's why it was so apropos that even though he was out of the game, that they brought him on to be a part of the dream team in Barcelona because you knew what you, there would have never been an NBA in Barcelona if it wasn't for what Magic did for the NBA. And that's where my list comes into play. See, I, I hate this argument because what we're doing right now is we're talking about the upper, upper, upper elite, the pantheon mm -hmm. of the greatest to ever do it. So I feel like if you don't pick somebody, mm -hmm. it diminishes, and I don't think that's the case, right? So no, I just want to pay respect to everybody's name who's even mentioned in sure. this breath that's right. for the Mount Rushmore of basketball of players. So I am in alignment with you with MJ, LeBron, and Magic. Even though I disagree with you, I would have LeBron James. 
as the number one player of yeah, all time. Yeah, and that's we, why, that's a debate for another day. We ain't doing And I've been sitting, I, I will is, die on that hill. And so will I about MJ fine. compared to LeBron, absolutely. A, I don't want to change the, right. this argument, but that's, so LeBron, MJ. Right. Can we put up my list, please, so we can see it? And then when you get into Magic, but I have Kobe Bean Bryant. And the reason why I have Kobe Bean Bryant, five rings and seven finals appearances. Five NBA titles. Now, in order to break down Kareem, because all the stats that you threw out there, Stephen A, were off the charts. Five of those rings he won of the six, he had Magic Johnson on his team. That's true. Okay, five. Three of Kobe's were with Shaq. Yep. The other two were not by himself. Let me get to my point now. Five, and, by the way, the addition, James Worthy, top 50 greatest player of all time, got finals MVP in one of those, right? So that team, I feel like it doesn't diminish Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, incredible, but still stacked teams, right? I get it. Michael Jordan got one with Scottie Pittman, top 50 greatest player of all time, right? All of his rings. Same with Kareem, with the exception of one. Mm -hmm. Then I go to Kobe Bean Bryant, and I start saying, okay, got three with Shaq, but he got two on his own now. Mm -hmm. Now, he had that with Paul Gasol. He had some other Andrew really Bynum. talented. Andrew right. But, like, think about the breadth. And it's, Paul Gasol is a bad boy. He, he's a heck of a player. But think about the levels to this, right? We're saying Magic, James Worthy, Kareem. We're saying Scottie Pippen, MJ. Mm -hmm. I think Paul Gasol, he's not in that level. He's here. He's still really good, but he's not in that upper pantheon as it relates to players. So for me, I, and, and Magic's in that conversation too. Magic's on my list. I give Kobe that slight edge. Now, I know the rings... Uh, all that, you know, MVPs, all that might be different because I think that's a reflection of times and his contemporaries. But I have Kobe in, in my top four Mount Rushmore players of all time. A couple of things. <clears throat> when we talk about giving cats respect, even though we wouldn't put him on the Mount Rushmore, let's give Isaiah Thomas. 1,000%. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.